Hey, Rosebank Union Church. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening and welcome to your own home, uh, I suppose. Hey, if you're sitting at home watching this, I just want to say uh, thank you and really just commend you for, for making the commitment uh, to meet in your homes for church this morning. As, as awkward as this might be, at least initially, uh, we really do believe that, that God is going to do something really special uh, for our church in this season. And as I was just thinking about the timing of everything, how we're kind of starting our first service together, like via video, I really sensed, and I think we all sense that, that there really is a very deliberate purpose to this, at least to Rosebank Union and the season that we're in and how it's intersecting with this kind of unprecedented um, thing that's happening in our country and in the world. And in fact, even in the passage that we're going to have a look at today, there's a, there's a little phrase in there that says, at the right time, God died, Christ died for the ungodly. And of course, that specifically relates to Jesus coming and to his death. But when it comes to the ways of God, there's always very deliberate timing, and that timing is always perfect, even though it may not look like it. And so all that to say, although things look really different right now, this is a really unique time for us. And I believe that God is doing something very deliberate and purposeful with it. So thank you for committing to doing church in your homes today. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying it, uh, enjoying at least not having to rush to church this morning, enjoying it to be at church uh, in, your, in your PJs, maybe having a, a cup of coffee with you. Um, I really believe that you're not going to regret doing this. So I think there's just really two announcements that, that we want to make. Firstly, we really want to encourage you to give us feedback. I think we all need to be really in intentional and deliberate in maintaining some sense of community uh, despite social distancing. So please be taking photos or videos in your homes, decent ones that is, if you are in your in your PJs and either post them to our social media channels. So use the hashtags that we've got for this. So uh, church at home, lift the sale, uh, acts 246 or RUC offsite. So post that. Uh, and I think just don't underestimate the opportunity to um, that this season provides in, in kind of people who wouldn't normally go to church, maybe seeing some of this on social media and maybe wanting to check it out and doing it themselves in the comfort of their homes. And you never know what, what might come out of that. So please be posting this and giving us feedback. You can also email us your photos, videos, testimonies, stories to communications at rec.org.za. And then second announcement is just a heads up uh, on next week. So part of what excites us about this season is the opportunity for for increased engagement in the worship services. So as of next week, we're going to start removing one of the elements, one of the video elements of this worship service and equipping you and encouraging you to do that. For example, the scripture readings or the prayers. Uh, so this week, it's all going to be provided for you, but just kind of watch out next week um, for just some more equipping info on how to increase your own involvement in these services. So thanks again for checking in with us today. Uh, you won't regret it and God bless you. Part of our call to worship involves us uh, giving ourselves. First of all, we give ourselves to God, and we also give that which he has given to us so we can support uh, the work of God uh, here at RUC and even beyond. We encourage you then as you gather together in different places to continue giving so we can be able to support the work of the Lord, support those who are doing work. And it might well be that during this time of uh, the coronavirus, we are, in, we are actually challenged to give even beyond what we are able, we've been actually been giving over a period of time. So there are several ways in which you could give during this particular time. The normal one that most of us are using at the moment is by EFT and details will be projected. And also you can use the snap scan code where with the details also being given to you. I encourage you therefore as a church community, wherever you are in your homes, uh, individually in your rooms, um, first of all, give generously as the Lord blesses you. Give purposefully, but also give heartily uh, so we can be able to maintain this work to the glory of God. Thank you. <laughs> 